The overall goal of phonon-assisted quasi-resonance fluorescence spectroscopy is to achieve laser line width limited resolution of optical spectra of atom-like semiconductor structures with a standard photoluminescence spectroscopy setup. This method facilitates study in semiconductor optical spectroscopy related to zero-dimensional systems such as quantum dots, nitrogen vacancy centers, and diamond and defects in silicon carbide. The main advantage of this technique is that it has the ability to obtain high resolution optical spectra of energy features less than 10 microelectron volts while retaining polarization information. The implications of this technique extend the power of optical spectroscopy due to its ability to obtain high resolution optical spectra. Individuals new to the method will struggle with finding the signal. The greatest hurdle is using a single spectrometer and extinction filter to eliminate stray laser light. Start with the material or device that will be used in the experiment. This device has quantum dot molecules mounted onto a chip. An overview of the quantum dot molecules is provided in this schematic. There are two indium arsenide quantum dot layers that are embedded between the gallium arsenide layers. Each quantum dot can be optically addressed. The quantum dot molecules are in the intrinsic region of a Schottky diode, allowing application of an electric field. The first step is to mount the device onto the cryostat cold finger for cooldown. Before mounting the chip on the cold finger, apply indium foil for the chip to rest on. Next, put the chip in.